making sense of conjunctive adverbs, common errors and how to avoid them. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today we're delving into an important area of grammar fundamentals, conjunction usage. Specifically, we're focusing on common conjunction errors, and even more specifically, the misuse of conjunctive adverbs. This often overlooked area can make a big difference in your English fluency. So, let's get started. First things first, what is a conjunctive adverb? Conjunctive adverbs are powerful little words that connect ideas and clarify relationships between those ideas. Words like, however, therefore, consequently, and meanwhile, are all examples of conjunctive adverbs. While they serve a similar purpose to coordinating conjunctions, such as, and, but, or, or, they are not the same. One crucial difference is how we use punctuation with them, which is our main focus today. A common error made with conjunctive adverbs is misplacing them in a sentence or using the wrong punctuation. For example, the sentence, I was tired, however, I went to the gym, is incorrect. However is not a coordinating conjunction and should not be used as one. The correct usage would be, I was tired, however, I went to the gym, or, I was tired, however, I went to the gym. Here, we can see the correct use of punctuation, a period or a semicolon before the conjunctive adverb, and a comma after it. Another common error is using them to connect a dependent clause to an independent one, like in, I was tired, therefore I couldn't go to the gym. Here, I couldn't go to the gym, is dependent on the first part. The correct version should be, I was tired. Therefore, I couldn't go to the gym. Now that we've identified these common errors, let's discuss how to avoid them. 1. Position. Always position your conjunctive adverb between the two clauses you are connecting. It should not be at the start or end of the sentence. 2. Punctuation. Remember to use either a period or a semicolon before, and a comma after the conjunctive adverb. 3. Dependent versus independent clauses. Ensure that you're connecting two independent clauses. A conjunctive adverb is not the correct tool to connect a dependent clause to an independent one. Practicing these tips will help you to avoid the most common conjunctive adverb errors. That's it for today's lesson on the common misuse of conjunctive adverbs. We hope you found this video helpful in your journey to mastering English grammar. Remember, grammar isn't about rules, it's about communication, and every step you take brings you closer to clear and effective communication. Keep practicing and we'll see you in our next video.